power. Power. Homeless power. power. Contrary to the to rule six of the TNC regulations, which says that every company to for a company to operate in Kenya, it has to be registered as a body corporate in this country. Number two, Uber and Bolt have continued to take more than 18% commission through something they introduced which is called a booking fee. Uber has been charging 11% booking fee on top of the 18% commission while Bolt has been charging 5% booking fee on top of the 18. This is in total contravention of rule 92G and 93 of the regulations. We can't allow a company working illegally in Kenya, which is Bolt, yes. to Uber that has given us something called intimidation, forcing us to accept an illegality. In a good language, to a next step when NTSA has not adhered to the regulations. Fully NTSA. Given enough time to be heard, and once that has been done, it is a requirement that the application company must notify the authority, in this case NTSA. And section 15.2 says, upon notifying the authority, the authority has to publish that list of drivers who have been suspended on their website. We've gone through the NTSA website for the past one year. No app company, including these two, has submitted a single name of a driver who has been deactivated or suspended from the applications. Whereas we are aware, Kwamba, thousands of drivers have been deactivated from these applications.